I'm Laura Davis. We're at the Cherry Tree Hotel in Richmond with Heidi O'Loughlin and Josie Long for our second pizza battle on Community Kitchen. We'll get a song later on from Godwolf, but let's, uh, let's let the battle begin. Who was the first battle? Uh, Ronnie Chang and me. And who won? Whoa. I won, because Ronnie yeah. Chang put like Asian mushrooms on his pizza. It was gross. You can't win with that. You can't do it. They can't win. No. Mushrooms on it. So I don't get a proper bench to work with, so I'm going to make like a, a neutral pizza, like a, a Swiss pizza, to be fair, I think, <laughs> later on. Uh, but we've got all of our lovely ingredients just here. So okay. I reckon we kick off nice and nice and quickly. Do we have um? Do we have some tomatoes for the yeah, base? Yeah, Ah, see. What are you going to put on yours? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's right. a battle. Yeah, but... So, like, I'm not going to give my secrets away to my arch nemesis. <laughs> if you have lifelong arch nemesis. <laughs> right. I'm not the slightest bit threatened by this. I feel like I'm going to sail. She's very really upset me. because I smash her at this card game called <gasps> Whist constantly. <gasps> Any trick-based card game. Oh, what's sad is we actually so play Canasta much. together. We play Canasta together and we really are a brilliant team. And she's just <laughs> undermining what is a decade-long friendship with this it's chat. We've destroyed Swiss. ten years of friendship in one, <laughs> one minute of a pizza battle. If you want to take us on, like 500, Canasta, any trick-based oh card yeah. game, we will, you, we will smash you. We will smash but I am going to <laughs> smash you at pizza right now. Um, okay. Right. So you've got so your little work space. Yeah, it works for me. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm, I'm going to do I'm now. Right. Can I just steal like all of the... Yes. Can I have all of these? No! And then you can make yours. <laughs> I'm going to be very sensible about this. I'm not going to do... No, don't take the little tiny mozzarella. They look good. They look good. I'm going to take them all. So you've got a nice gluten-free pizza base to start with. Uh, uh, we've, made, we've made accommodations. I'm gluten-free except when I decide I can't be bothered and I would rather have two days of stomach pain. <laughs> and then I'm like, ah, it can't be that bad. Like, I'm gluten-free except for if like, I'm in France and there's a croissant and then I'm like, oh, guys, yeah. how can it count? I'm abroad. <laughs> but this doesn't count as a broad because, can I say, in Australia, your gluten-free game is off the charts. It's incredible. <laughs> Everywhere. So um, what else do you do, you do together? Long-time uh, friends? What, we, what, have, what have we done together? We, do we like to go like, on, on, trips. on trips, don't we? we yeah. We, do you remember we went? Where did we go last time here in New Zealand? Oh, we went, to, we went to this island called Kawau Island, and um, it's like this weird island in New Zealand that like has wallabies because they just like got them sent over. There's like no wallabies in anywhere else in New Zealand. Yeah. But then like you guys and they're trapped on an island. And then like this like rich governor lived there and built a mansion there and he imported wallabies, peacocks and monkeys and then the monkeys Just those three. I love it. The monkeys like wrecked havoc and then he had to shoot all the monkeys. Which, <laughs> It's very sad. It's probably upset a few people. Yeah, and not a lot of it's monkeys. A brilliant day. Though. Apparently, you guys started running out of wallabies, and then um, you had to ask for some of them back from us <laughs> on this like random island. It's always embarrassing. So yeah, that was the last, and it's kind of like a famous five novel there, right? It's like yeah, like, it old really abandoned is. copper mines and stuff. Yeah, me and my friends, um, me and my friends swam in the ocean, in the ocean, in the sea. Just when and we went to the island, it was a really beautiful day. It was about um, 20 degrees centigrade, if that, right? Which for a British person is the most beautiful, so, warm day. Not too bad. And the sea was really like inviting. And I went for a swim for ages, and then everyone was freaking out, and nobody would come in because they were. Like, <laughs> it was so cold. It was not cold. It, it was, was like delightful. autumn. Yeah, your autumn is my favourite summer. But then I've just moved to London and Josie invites me to the Heath on Christmas Eve and goes for a swim yeah. in like the winter there. Just so mad. <laughs> what I've done, if you can see, is a tomato crown and I've double layered it. So you've got one it's layer very of beautiful. cheese and then another layer of cheese on top of it. I'm 32 years old. <laughs> <laughs> when you've lived as well as I have, as long as I have, that's what you can expect, I'm afraid. You You've done a good job, Heidi. It's not done yet, mate. Okay. It's not bloody done. Okay. It's not bloody done, but thanks. Oh, yours is great. <laughs> uh, I forgot, as all we complimenting each other now. You I've just been sass talking you. 
The, thing, the problem with yours is I'm never going to see whether it's any good because it's got mushrooms on it. That makes it. That's why right. I don't want you to taste it. I don't want you. If, if you happen to win this battle, I don't want the satisfaction of you knowing whether it was just a pity win that you that you got or whether like mine genuinely. Thing was. is, even if you got a pity win, say you got a pity win at the Olympics. In yeah. 50 years, no one's going to look back and be like. Oh, who won the gold? Oh, yeah, they won it out of pity. They'll just be like, who won the gold? <laughs> they won't give, give a damn. Well, Kyle's going to be <laughs> testing it. Sabotage! <laughs> Sabotage! Do you like cheese, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> he likes cheese, guys. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot. <laughs> I don't, I was going to kill him. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm not here to F spiders, mate. That's oh, another yeah, one that's I a good one. I learnt that in this country. When you that, <laughs> that was when you went to when you went to London. You were like, we're not in London. To, to spiders, mate. Yeah. Yeah, and then I had to explain to you what to make it bad no idea. Yeah. I was like, yeah, nobody is. Yeah. There's nobody no wants. <laughs> nobody wants that. No, nobody's. <laughs> Apparently, spiders. people are doing it, but the whole point is we're not here for that. No. <laughs> if it happens on the way. Oh, I see. So you're kind of open to it, but you're not aiming for it. Yeah, and like, I'm like... You're not here for it. I'm not here for it. I'm here to do my job, you know, right. mate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, sure. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to take it back? Can't take it back. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, I'm just making, oh, like, a pretty basic good. margarita. I don't know if I'm going to put anything else on it. I just want, just want like, a, a control pizza, you know, so that Kyle just, can... Kyle can judge yours independently, but I still get to eat a pizza. Can I just say what I've done is I've left the scene of the crime of Heidi's crime. Yeah, I think so. I've left that just empty just to mark it so we don't forget. <laughs> the rest of the so remember it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, well, we can get some help from the chef to put these in the oven because it is quite terrifying and it's on fire. Of Josie. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah. <laughs> It's uncanny, right? All right, we're going to get some help from the chef to... Uh, oh, no, I need more help from the chef than I thought. So uh, we're going to put these in the oven and we'll see you after the break on Community Kitchen. Kitchen. We're sitting here at the Cherry Tree Hotel with Heidi O'Loughlin. Welcome. Hello. How for me. You're welcome. How do you feel about your pizza away from Josie? Yeah. Any pizza, any pizza secrets? Um, well, I put mushrooms in there so that she doesn't get to try it. But then okay. I forgot that she actually is gluten intolerant anyway. So there was no way she would have been putting <laughs> that pizza in anyway. So I don't know if I've self sabotaged or not. Depends on what the judge is like. I like mushrooms. I but, do too. You know, I do too. Yeah, they're, they're great. Time will tell. Yeah. Time will tell. So uh, you've just moved from New Zealand to London. I sure have. How's the culture shock? Uh, it's, I hate the weather. It's very busy. It's almost the opposite of what New Zealand <laughs> is. But uh, I, do love, I do love it there. There's a lot going on. All the time. Uh, like what? What do you What do you do? Well, I'm at film school actually. Nice. Which is great, and then do I do comedy as as well? Yes. And that's like a good a good thing to do. <laughs> Just like I've what I've realised by going back to university it's the second time round because I'm in my mid twenties mm -hmm. is that like I am in this weird position where I don't really fit in with anyone because they're either out of school or super mature and have real jobs. But what I've realised is like doing comedy 
I can actually just still do it. Because what I was doing before is I was just sleeping all the time. Yeah. And I didn't realise how much I sleep until I got this other thing, it's film school. How much were you sleeping, Heidi? Like, like I'd just get up at 11 and then like make a cup of tea and then like say I was writing or doing comedy stuff. Really, I was just wasting a day. <laughs> so now I've learned that, you know, comedy is easy and you don't actually, it's not a real job. <laughs> it's not a real job or an excuse to like Ow. do nothing. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, yeah. some hard truths in London. <laughs> yeah. So you're here for Comedy Festival doing a show. Uh, you just completed your solo show, we were yeah. talking, and now you're kicking off a run of, of uh, fanfic comedy. Yeah, fan fiction comedy. It's so like, who do you do that with? Um, I do it with my friends from New Zealand. Nice. Uh, there's, like, five of us, and we've been doing it, f this is our fourth year now. How did you get started with touring fan fiction? Um, well, Will Anderson, who is one of your people. Yeah, he's, um, he's one of us. He, he came and saw us in the New Zealand Comedy Festival when we were like starting out and there's, we're playing with 30 people a night, not for like quite empty rooms. And he was like, oh, come see a show. And I was like, you will hate this, but do, <laughs> come, you must, you must have a look. And then he came at five o'clock in the afternoon and he like really loved it. And I was so surprised, but he was just this legend who was like, do you know what? I'm going to produce you in Melbourne, and so for the last four years. Nice. And so, really, like he's he's honestly made, get, given an opportunity to like young comedians from back home where we don't have a big festival to yeah. get all that experience. So he's really given it to us. So that's been nice. What's the uh, what's the scene like in New Zealand? It's very small. Small. It's very. There's a, there's kind of the reason I left. Um, it's. It's, there's some nice, cool young people coming yeah, up, definitely. but um, it is it does feel sometimes like a colonial backwater in terms of like <laughs> this one comedy club that you know um, has very strange rules about how many women do a gig a night and that. Kind <laughs> of thing. So you know it's kind of nice being in uh, cities that um, are very happy to uh, <laughs> just watch anyone, no matter what body parts they have. Um, do their jokes. <laughs> Whatever you have, bring it on stage. Exactly, bring, bring it all. Much better. Well, uh, we're going to try our pizzas. Uh, yes. Because I really want to work out who wins this one. Because, you know, I can't win again. You can only, the rule, community kitchen rule, you can only win one pizza battle and I'm already won one. What, so, what do you win? Is there a prize? Just esteem. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah. just, you get to eat the best pizza because it's yours. So oh, that's yeah, not that's, a bad prize. That's a good prize. Yeah. You get to say, no, no, I'm eating this one, and I know it's been judged better than your pizza. If I win, I'm going to definitely put it on my show poster. Yeah, definitely. Definitely do that. The community kitchen pizza battle. And if I lose, I'll put runner-up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of shot of uh, Heidi, how do you feel about your pizza? I feel pretty... Uh, I have low expectations for my pizza because... I, I don't think I'm a natural. I think gluten free is a hard obstacle. <laughs> and I also think that Heidi's just looked pretty good. It did look pretty so. good. All right. All right. Well. But at the same time, deep down, I'm going to smash it and I'm going to win. So it's, it's difficult. We don't know yet. Yeah. How <laughs> much have you invested in the victory? Um, quite heavily invested, actually. <laughs> yeah. I'd thought... be very sad if I didn't win. I thought with Ronnie Chang, it was like, I'm not very competitive, I don't need to win a piece. I do, I really yeah. want it to win. I'm quite competitive, especially when it comes to sort of a... Yeah. Not in life, in life, not if it was a big thing in life, but when it's a challenge, a set out competition. <laughs> Something with borders. Mm -hmm. Like a game or a okay. quiz. What, what sort of, what's a good example? I love a quiz. I love a quiz. Really? I desperately want to win a quiz. If I'm part of any sort of... Like pub trivia? Yes, absolutely. Uh. I'll, I'll be quite violent with my aspiration <laughs> to win a pub trivia competition, yeah. I host pub trivia and you're exactly the person that I resent when oh, I do so. sad. People, what, so you want people who want to lose? No, people who are violent <laughs> in wanting to win a pub trivia. But it's like a suppressed violence. No one would be the, bear the brunt of my violence. It would just be oh, like, oh, I've won some brunts. <laughs> it's to win. <laughs> kind of, yeah, it's like, like a short circuit. What's the best trivia that you have in the back of your mind that you're just pulling out in your imagination? Oh, like if I were to have a yeah. question that I would know yeah. the answer to. Um, well, yesterday I was reminded that in the film Hair, it's the, the voice of the AI thing 
Is it AI? The voice of the operating system, the OS, that he falls in love with is voiced by Scarlett Johansson, but it was initially voiced by Samantha Morton and they changed it. That's quite oh. good trivia. So Excellent like a brilliant British actress. You just won the quiz. Thank you. For retaining <laughs> it. So pleased with myself, very glad. I like. Yeah, can't stop doing it. Can't stop. <laughs> I've got terrible muscular definition and I would try really hard and I just, I'm not a natural sports person at all. I'm really not. And, and yet I really love sports in this same sort of like, Needless competitive, <laughs> but I always lose. What but I've got a good attitude. Getting I into then? Uh, I like climbing. I like. I just like anything, to be honest. Anything I can give it a go. Uh, what have you been doing uh, since you got back to Oz? Well, I got here on a couple of days ago, and I managed to stay up all day, which I was so pleased because I have this. <laughs> this is like the worst parts of my personality is like how competitive I am with games, and also I have a genuine belief that I'm brilliant at jet lag and that no one is better than me at jet lag. And so I forced myself awake all day, even though we got in at five Brilliant. in the morning. So I pleased myself, <laughs> went to sleep, and then I slept for 17 hours, <laughs> which was a real mistake, because I felt like my body was shutting yeah, down. Yeah, then what time did you wake up? Well, I woke up at 11 a.m. because I'd gone okay. to bed at 6 p.m. Okay. So yesterday was a bit of a write-off, um, but I bought, I bought this dress, and my boyfriend was like, oh, you look like you're in the war. And I was like, yeah, perfect. And it's a military uniform. Yeah, like a nice kind of military. Yeah, sound. you were waiting for somebody. Mm. And then I did my first show yesterday and- I saw it, it's great. Thank you, I'm so You're in a beautiful you venue. I love it, absolutely love yeah, it. Yeah, at the top of the town hall. I, I genuinely, I just love being here. So really even good. little things like driving around and seeing the trees and being like, Australian trees. And like the coffee, the fact that I got like a crappy coffee in the airport and it was still more delicious than oh. any coffee you could ever get in England. And just, it's just nice to be here. It's nice to sort of soak up everyone's very beautiful. general attitude of positivity, which is uh, lacking a little bit. In oh, moment. really? Yeah. It's a shame. Why do you think one of the con contributing factors uh, with to the Malay? A terrible government. We have really bad weather. <laughs> and at the moment, we're leading up to the general election and everyone I know is in this state of kind of fear and tension uh. and worry. Uh, so it's kind of like that at the moment. Um, so it's just lovely to be out here and be like, <laughs> ah, I'll give it a go. In the war. Yeah, I'll give it a red hot go. That's my exciting thing that people say out here that I like. Uh, we're going to go taste our pizzas. Cool. Uh, I know you've got a sad on the free, so you're not. But you know, it could all it could all turn out. I hope it does. I really we don't know. We don't know, we don't know what Carl wants. <laughs> um, so cool, we're gonna take you out to a break and we're gonna bring you back with a pizza verdict. So I'm from Dudwolf. We'll see you after break on Community Kitchen. Hello, welcome back to Community Kitchen. We're at the Cherry Tree Hotel in Richmond with Heidi O'Loughlin and Josie Long, uh, their pizzas have come out of the oven. The first pizzas to come out of the brand new pizza oven here. I wow. think we've been pretty privileged to get a That's sneak exciting. peek. Uh, mine's on its way, my neutrality pizza, not in the running for the pizza battle. Are you happy with your final product? Yeah, it looks just like <laughs> Josie Long, which is what I am with. I, uh, this it's is my tribute, tribute to my friend with the melted smile <laughs> there. I'm very, very, I'm, I'm feeling confident, yeah. Hey, I actually feel like mine was an act of hubris because I put too much on there and it's yeah. gluten free and I forgot that quite often with gluten free there's different rules of playing, like it's very sensitive. <laughs> so I just shoved as much cheese as I could on there and it looks like it's Cheese suffered. is gluten free. It's true, exactly, and that's why I went to town. <laughs> but it, it's, it's suffered. And I, if, you know, I'm just going to be nice about this. I think yours is much better. So if you win, well, I'm the real winner, I think. <laughs> oh, that's a because dirty so trick. That's a dirty, dirty... Ma she does this, she does this. <laughs> Just builds herself up as the bigger person. I'm really glad I stayed out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> way too intense. Honestly, yours looks more like a pizza than mine. Mine looks a little bit... Yours is colourful. I like yours looks like colourful. Yeah. Mm. The colourful is probably healthier and better. I like, yeah. the, I like the palette of yours. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you can do I've, some I've interior control. design with it. Mm. And I'll happily will. Yes. If anyone... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right, we're going to get Kylie in to, um, to judge our pizzas. If you can uh, have a go at this. Oh, the pressure. This cheesy one. This is Kyle. Welcome, Hi. Kyle. G'day. Hi, guys. Kyle, <laughs> Josie, Heidi. Hi, everyone. Laura. I'm just really um, going through it with mine. I've nearly eaten a whole slice. So this one is your one, Josie. That's Josie's. And it's Heidi's. 
Mm -hmm. Do I have to rank them according to taste or just appearance or any other, what categories? Uh, maybe appearance, flavour, overall yep. verdict, yeah. My first offhand has to be Heidi's just because it has more meat on it. Yeah. Um, or more visible meat. I don't know if Josie. Yeah, Josie's got some as well. Um, or maybe Josie compensated with cheese. So. All right, get stuck in, Carl. <laughs> I like that your categories are. They're a lot less. Um, like ethereal. It's a little <laughs> more like. Is there more meat or more cheese? <laughs> Simple taste. <laughs> I'll move that underneath because it's. It's the a The texture is nice so much so yeah. far. Yeah. And Josie does have a handicap slightly because of the gluten-free base. Yeah. It's pretty good. I could eat more of this. All right. Yep. Thank well. you. Oh, not that looks. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's going to be better. That's looking good. That's also very good. Mm. I got a lot of meat in that, but I actually, surprisingly, <gasps> I have to make <gasps> Never have expected that. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I didn't expect it either. But no, no. <laughs> well, oh, amazing. Thank you. Unlucky Heidi, it's still great pizza. Hey, hoping. that's all right, mate. I think you're the I... winner in my heart. Yeah. Oh, thank you. My yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us Lovely and uh, uh, testing out our pizzas. Uh, all right, so you're back to work. <laughs> get, get back behind the camera. It's getting fuzzy. <laughs> Congratulations on your victory. Thank you, I'm your so pleased. unexpected underdog pizza. Very pleased, very pleased. <laughs> it's all worked out. So went for the celiacs once again. Oh. <laughs> oh, again. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks for hanging out with me early in the morning in Comedy Festival making pizzas. Pretty good? It's pretty My good. My pleasure. <laughs> uh, we're going to take you out with some from Godwall. Thank you so much for watching Community Kitchen. You can try resist, you can try resist, you can try resist. You're always reminiscing about what you were missing, so you keep resisting. Somebody will find you and even understand you. And where you gonna run? So many are like you, convinced they are alone too, just hiding from the sun, oh yeah. If I leave, oh please don't fight though, I'm gonna find my own way home, I'm gonna find my own way home, I'm gonna find my own way. If I speak your tales of sorrow, it's cause you're all I've ever known. It's cause you're all I've ever known I'm gonna find my own way Well you can try resist You can try resist you're always reminiscing about what you were missing, so you keep resisting. Somebody will find you and even understand you. Then where you gonna run? Yeah. So many are. Sun. Oh, yeah. If I leave, oh, please don't follow. I'm gonna find my own way home. I'm gonna find my own way home. I'm gonna find my own way. If I speak your tales of sorrow, it's cause you're all I've ever known. It's cause you're all I've ever known. I'm gonna find my own way. If I leave, oh, please don't follow. I'm gonna find my own way home. I'm gonna find my own way home. I'm gonna find my own way. If I speak your tales of sorrow, it's cause you're all I've ever known. It's cause you're all I've ever known. I'm gonna find my own way.
try resist. You can 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 try resist.